All right, we're gonna do a very strange introduction to long division and that's called the chips method. The chips method. Okay, so let's just go ahead and make up um, a simple long division problem. I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little on the large side just so that you guys can see what happens. <clears throat> so let's say that I had three going into 478, okay? All right, now, here, we, we know how to do long division, but let's talk about the CHIPS method. So the idea here, when you're using the CHIPS method, is that we're gonna take this 478, and we're gonna break it into expanded form. And I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna have hundreds, tens, and ones. And I know I could have written hundreds as the actual word, but I was lazy. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to draw four chips because I have four 100s. Okay, and these chips can be X's, they can be dots. So a lot of times you'll see this for dots or disks. Okay, now tens, how many tens do I have up here? That's right, I've got seven. Okay, so there's seven tens, and how many ones do I have? That's right, eight. Okay, <clears throat> so the first step is you take your number under the division symbol. You're going to write the 400 plus 70 plus 8, so break it out in expanded form, and then put all of these chips in hundreds, tens, and ones. Okay, now, what am I dividing by? Three. So what we're going to do is down here, we're going to, pretend that I have three people that I'm fair sharing, okay? So think of this as $478, and we're gonna break this up between three people, okay? So I'm gonna take those hundreds. Do I have enough hundreds to give everybody one? I do, right? So I'm gonna have one, two, three hundreds, so three of them are gone. And I have one left over. Okay. Now, that one left over, what do I do with it? Can I break that 100 apart? Well, yes, I can. But in order to break that 100 apart, I have to go make 10 tens. So I'm going to now draw 10 chips because I need to break it apart. Okay. So now... Before I had seven tens, now I have 17 tens. So now we're going to go ahead and start distributing tens. So three are gone, another three are gone, another three are gone, another three are gone, and then another three. Okay, now I have two left. Is that enough to fair share among the three groups? Nah, I gotta change those. And here's the sad part. Um, those 20, right, that's what I have here, that's gonna turn to 21, so I need 20 dots. All right, so there's my 20 dots. All right, let's do this, guys. So now, I'm going to write groups of three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I know that we can just count and divide by three, which would be a lot faster. But think about your students. You're gonna have students that are gonna need to do this the way that I'm doing it, which is working through three at a time and seeing how many we get. All right, we're almost there. Okay, one left over. All right, so here's our answer. So this is the confusing part because it looks like our answer is three, 15, and then whatever the heck this is, which I think is nine. Um, no, what we're saying is that everybody got one. So there's one hundreds. There's one, two, three, four, five, five tens. Each person got five tens. 
And each person here got nine ones. So my answer is 159, and I have a remainder of one. Cool, right? Okay, now let's check it. How we can check it is by just doing old school long division. So let's see where our original problem was. It's back up here. So I'm gonna move it to the side just so that we can check it. Okay. So three goes into four once. Okay, now, before I keep going, I wanna show you where this is on our chips. It went in once. Everybody got one. Okay. This one down here is the one that was extra that carried over and became a 10. So those seven tens turned into 17 tens. Guess what? 17. Oh, okay. Three goes into 17 five times with the remainder of two. So let's see that. Five, remainder two. What? Okay, so now I have eight ones plus 20 more ones or 28 ones. Let's see it, 28 ones. All right, three goes into 28, um, nine times for 27 with the remainder of one. So that was our nine with the remainder of one. So da 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 da, the chips method. Okay, it can be a little confusing. You might have to watch this video again. Make sure you tune into the live Zoom session or watch the recorded Zoom session. I'm sure I'll do this a couple of times. But yes, this will also appear on your exam. Good luck.